I have completed hundreds of projects, landed 50 plus clients on Upwork and have earned around 18 to 19 thousand dollars from freelancing. But this isn't big. One great thing that also happened is I even landed a 75 thousand dollars off remote job from here itself which takes my earning to almost 6 figures from Upwork alone. But the question is how can you get started with freelancing here on Upwork? There are majorly two steps for landing clients on Upwork. First one is creating a great profile and second one is sending good proposals. In this video, we are going to cover how to create a great profile that attracts clients' attention and also gets them converted. So without any further ado, let's get started. First, let's go to the Upwork profile page and get started. Let's unlock each part that makes an Upwork profile great. First step is your profile picture. Make sure you have a great professional looking profile picture. A great profile picture is your first impression and it will help potential clients to get a sense of who you are. Here are some points to keep in mind. First one, your face should be clearly visible in the picture. It should also have a simple background. And also another point is your attire should be professional. It shouldn't be too casual. Here is mine as an example and also example of other top rated freelancers. Now, let's come to the second part which is title. Having a great title can instantly catch clients' attention and drive them towards your profile. So, we need to make sure we get this right. The way you can do this is by adding keywords that specify the type of work you do and the value you provide to the clients. Now, how do I get these keywords? This should be the keywords to what the clients usually search for when they are looking to get their project completed. You can find them by like searching through the jobs that are already posted on the platform. Like for example, people when searching for data extraction skills, they add the keywords like data extraction, web scrapping, data mining, scrapy and so I have included those in my title. Also, you can separate the keyword with a dash. Many other expert better freelancers follow this strategy and have earned around more than $1 million and you can do. Now, along with the title, it's also important to create a stunning eye-catching overview. When a client clicks on your profile, the first thing he sees is your overview. So it's important to make a good one. Let me share an example by showcasing how I am doing it in my overview. You can divide it in three steps. First one, explain your experience and the types of projects that you have done before. Next is mention all the great points that will make the client feel that you are an experienced and perfect person for their job. On my profile, I mention it by saying, having scrapped hundreds of websites for my clients, I can assure you that I can get data across any website even if it has employed the best antibody mechanism in the world. So you can do something similar which shows that you are experienced in your niche. The next section can be like what are the skills you have and how they are separating you from other freelancers. How can you deliver projects that are of higher value than others? How can you solve the client's problem with ease? You can mention them here. I do this by creating a section of why choose me over other freelancers and mention the points here. Next, I have added a section of social proof and it is one of my testimonials that I got by delivering great work and providing good support and so I have added it here. But when you are starting out, you won't have a testimonial like this and so I would just recommend to add a section like for soft skills or just a call to action sentence asking them to contact you. You can also add bullet points or use some professional emojis like a star, check mark, trophies to keep your client engaged in your important points like I have done in my profile. Also, another very very crucial point, for both title and overview, you can also take inspiration from other top rated freelancers in your niche. You can search them by going to Upwork dashboard, choosing talent and searching your niche there. See how other freelancers are creating their title and overview. Are they including any specific points and keywords that's making them stand out from the rest? How are they separating themselves from other freelancers and based on that you can take inspiration to create your title and overview. Also make sure you don't copy since that may result in a ban. Only take inspiration and create it based on your experience. Now coming to another important section of your profile which is the portfolio section. Here you need to add at least around 5 to 10 projects that you have done in the past and you need to add projects which are similar to what clients are looking for because why would clients trust you to complete their project if you have not done any similar projects in the past? Why would like they believe your words through just title and overview? You need to show them that you're the best person for the specific jobs by adding similar projects through this section. Now, if you're someone who is new to the field, then I would suggest going to Upwork Job Search, see the types of projects that are being posted on the platform, complete them and add those as your portfolio projects. And then start applying to jobs when you have at least like 5 of them on your profile. Also, make sure to sort it from best to not so best so that client sees the best ones first. Make sure you only attach those projects that align with your skills that you mentioned in your profile. Next is video introduction. Now, this one is optional and I 
did not have that too and added it much later. But yeah, if you can create a good video, it can help you separate from other freelancers and also help you showcase your experience and your communication skills. So if you decide to create an intro video, make sure that you create a script beforehand and also speak clearly. Then second is speak about your best projects and your skills in detail. And the next is smile. You look great when you smile, but a professional smile of course and not a creepy one. And finally, fill up the other small sections of your profile as well, like education, employment history, skills, other experience and certifications like if you have any. It's okay if you don't have any employment history or other experiences. You can just fill this as a freelancer on Upwork or Fiverr itself. I myself started freelancing as a student and added just the freelancer on Upwork and Fiverr as my experience when I first filled up the profile as well. Last is also make sure to add proper keywords which are relevant to your profile in the skills section. This will make you rank higher in search results. Now, at last, it's okay if like one or the other part of your profile is not that great but make sure you try your best in filling out the complete profile. You are already increasing your chances by of getting hired by like 80% if you have a completely filled profile relevant to your skills. And that's it. Hope you found the video useful and if you did, let me know that in the comments and if you have any future suggestions on the video, let me know that as well and I will create a video soon on it. Thanks and hope you have a great day.